What is up YouTube? It is your boy Jackman here from Gaming Ten Network and today I'll be bringing you a quick tutorial with Dylan <coughs> on my Skype call. Yep. And I'll be showing you how to make a door that is uh, protected by a password on TechIt. So, as I can demonstrate here, uh, if I get the password, <coughs> I just put some random gibberish, it won't let me in. But if I put it on, it'll let me, as you can see. <laughs> okay, I made it out in time. So, the code for this. So what you need is a computer as you can see here and a door of some type. I'm using reinforced door because why not? Okay, so the thing whatever you want to do uh the thing you want to do on the computer is you want to edit the startup uh process of the computer. Basically a startup process as you can probably guess is when the computer starts and it's the first thing it does which is say hello in craft box or whatever. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna make it so that pass is equal to um, quotes, open quotations, whatever you want to do as a password. For as the example I'm gonna do Pepsi okay go down a couple lines <clears throat> and then we do print open parentheses and quotations uh, let's do lock version no let's do lock one and close parentheses so basically this is the very first line that says lock one and then we tell it to write a password colon space. This is where the um, well, this is where you're gonna write down your password. Then it's gonna be an input value, so which is whichever you, you write in. So you're gonna put input is equal to read whatever you're writing. If the input is equal to pass, which is the password above Pepsi then print basically the, uh, if the password is correct then say I don't know access granted for uh, whatever seconds you want how many seconds you want uh, let's do five seconds okay go down and then now we do the actual opening of the door so it would be redstone dot set output and this will change I have my door on my left you can put right if you, if you have your door on the right and you can put left oops close quotations comma space true space uh, closed uh, parentheses I'm running out of English again. And then we do sleep for five seconds. The sleep is the um, how long that output signal is going to stay on for. And then just shut down. Otherwise, so else print access denied sleep for say two seconds and then shut down and and the script so basically <clears throat> what we what we're saying is the password is Pepsi print which, which is the very first line of the thing lock one then you write in your password password uh, gets read if the input of the password is correct then it'll open for five seconds if not it just won't let you in so we save exit the thing and type in reboot so game okay. up oh, damn it okay so I 
probably did some very retarded um, mistake in the uh, spelling. So let me check really quick. Uh, print right input if it. Um. What did I do wrong? Oh, there it is. Um, I forgot my closed quotations. Silly me. Anyways, save it, exit, reboot. And there you go. It says lock one and then enter the password and it is going to be Pepsi. What? Uh, probably. Yep, there you go. As you can see, we now win and succeed in life. The thing, the um, the recipe to make the computer is eight pieces of stone. I mean, seven pieces of stone, a piece of glass pane, and a redstone in the middle. They're really simple to do, and they're really fun. You can do a lot of stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to uh, subscribe to our channel, like uh, like a video if I didn't say that already. <coughs> uh, go follow us on Facebook and uh, I mean, God damn it, I did it again. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And uh, Dylan's gay. We love you all. Wow. Yep. <laughs> See ya.